Breaking news, KKL News has just confirmed former L.A. Mayor Richard Reardon has died. Assignment desk editor Mike Rogers live at the desk. Yeah, Pat, I can get to you the details really quickly. We just got off the phone with his spokesperson who confirmed the information tonight. Richard Reardon, the former mayor of L.A., dead in his home tonight at 92 years old. We're told that he was with his family uh, and his wife Elizabeth at the time of his death. The exact cause of his death tonight, Pat, is not clear. Funeral services obviously are still pending, but we can tell you that uh, former L.A. Mayor Richard Reardon died tonight in his home at the age of 92. Pat. All right, Mike, I um, have a little bit to say about this. Yeah. I did have a relationship with uh, the former mayor. He actually befriended uh, a group of us newswomen and helped us to fundraise to um, help 501c3 charities. Uh, and I, I would say, though, that Mayor Reardon was probably best known for the work that he did after the 1994 uh, earthquake in Northridge. He was able to fast track a lot of the infrastructure to be rebuilt, the 10 freeway, among other things. I do remember specifically when people were afraid to be indoors, they start living in parks or, or in backyards. And the mayor actually got uh, Budweiser to fill cans that would be cans of beer with cans of water so people would have uh, water to drink. So I think that's how he will be best remembered for his acumen as a businessman and also to bring the city together. But um, we have more on Richard Reardon now in this obit that we'd like to share with our viewers. Many say Richard Reardon's life was about making a difference. He was born to a wealthy family in Flushing, New York in 1930. The youngest of eight children, he attended Santa Clara University before transferring to Princeton where he majored in philosophy. Happy to be back on the campaign trail. According to his family, that's where he learned the importance of serving others. He became a lawyer, founding his own firm in L.A. in 1975. He was also a smart businessman, turning an $80,000 inheritance into a $100 million fortune. All right. In the spirit of service, he donated $3 million a year to charities. He also financed the purchase of the Puente Learning Center in East L.A. But that wasn't enough for Reardon. After a stint on the L.A. Parks and Recreation Commission and the Coliseum Commission, he ran for mayor in 1993 when Tom Bradley announced his retirement. I will take steps immediately to unite this city. My government will involve Democrats, Republicans, independents, people of every race, creed, color, and sexual orientation. He was about to inherit a mess. Crime was on the rise and the local economy was on the skids. Racial tensions were still fresh following the 1992 L.A. riots. Reardon's campaign motto, tough enough to turn L.A. around. He wanted the city to be more responsive and less bureaucratic. He won, becoming the city's first Republican mayor in over 30 years. I will make a decision of some sort by late next Monday. Reardon had a rough start on the job, butting heads with a democratically controlled city council. But he showed true leadership during the Northridge quake of 1994. Our hearts go out, the families who have lost loved ones. We have to get back to where things were before the earthquake. Taking charge of the emergency response himself. The city re-elected Reardon in 1997 in a landslide. Dick Reardon, come on, Dick. After term limits kicked him out of office, he sought a higher calling, governor. He ran and lost the 2002 Republican primary. But that wasn't the end of his service. His friend, former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, appointed him Secretary of Education. But that hit a snag in 2004, when at a children's library event in Santa Barbara, a six-year-old girl asked him this. Did you know that my name actually means an Egyptian goddess? Uh, it, means, uh, it means stupid, dirty girl. <laughs> 
calls for resignation came quickly. Reardon resigned in 2005, but he never left politics. A life that began in public service ended in public service. Through his Reardon Foundation, funds are used to help low-income children, a fitting legacy to a man who always gave back. And former L.A. Mayor Richard Reardon has died. He was 92 years old.